Sagittarians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your singles love reading for mid-September right through to mid-October 2022. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details, I will never ask for personal details, and I will never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Sagittarians, this is your singles love reading for those of you who are looking for love. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. But just to make you aware, there are six planets currently in retrograde, which means it's a difficult time collectively for us to move forward when it comes to love. There is a clash between Venus, the planet of love, and erratic Uranus. So that can bring shocking surprises in love both good and bad, uh, just so you're aware. And of course, Mercury is in retrograde, which can bring people from our past into our present. Now, that doesn't mean that your ex is going to show up your, your door. It can mean that there are people from the past that you had a frizz on with or a little light flirtation with in the past that it never went anywhere. And suddenly they show up in your world or you're invited to a reunion, things like that. So Venus and Uranus could work together to bring you like a surprise kind of love let's put it that way, uh, but because all the other planets are in retrograde, it is a very difficult time to connect to love, just so you're aware. Uh, now, they want me to go uh, one more, so I will. Okay, so, um, as I said, I'm going to get all of the cards first before I connect to an outcome. Uh, now, the first card you got there is support. We've got the Wheel of Fortune, so the universe is supporting you. They're guiding you towards... Um, there is a relationship here, but it looks like there's something here that either you are rejecting, you're walking away from, or you feel like you had a choice to be with that person or not. I mean, the lover's card is in the reverse, so it indicates uh, that there is a separation that you've experienced in the past, and it may have in some way influenced how you operate in love going forward because uh, you got the card of fear there as well so we're going to go and get all the cards first though before we connect to an outcome we've got the king of wands now they were giving me this song we got a lover's card twice sagittarius knuckle down there is a relationship coming on in here for you get ready for love no matter what even if you try to stay away from love you know uh, it's coming for you. Uh, well, during this time period, your 10th house and your 4th house is activated, so you may feel a little bit more focused on career, ambition, um, you know, making your mark on the world, making an impact, but also connecting to your responsibilities, and then there is love showing up for you. But we've got the hangman there, so it looks like perhaps you're putting a foot on the brakes in some way, but let's see. Let's see what's happening here for you. You've got the Two of Pentacles here. Um, your focus is wavering. Seven of Cups indicates choice. I mean, literally, you I cannot write this. We got one, two, three cards here of choice in the resistance position. So it feels like you haven't really had a choice when it comes to love. There's some sort of separation. Yeah, We've got three of swords there. Okay, two more. Ace of Wands and the Two of Cups. I told you there is a love coming on in here. Whether it, get ready, ready or not, it is coming for you. Okay. Um, let's get started right at the beginning. We've got the card of support. It's number four. Okay, so this is about foundations. Also, it is about you finding support or longing to find a union where you feel you've met a companion, that it's not just 
not just passionate fling. I mean, whilst that is wonderful and everyone wants that intense connection with another person, remember it is not sustainable. So you've even got the card of rejection here. I mean, it's two matches. As you can see, one's fizzled out. So it's a reminder to you know, really be aware of what is lust and what is love. And my beautiful Sagittarians, I feel like you, you know, but you may meet or have met people in the past that have mistook or have been very sort of passionate, very intense right from the very beginning and have like, it's fizzled out. Their effort has fizzled out in connections. And it may have made you feel a little bit of anxiety or fear or even made you think about pushing love away, okay? Because you've got the card of fear here, it's like fear, passion, okay? Look at that. It's like anything that's too fast, too hot and heavy, you're like instantly suspicious of it. You're like, is this going anywhere? I need to make sure I'm, I'm supported in this union, you know? Um, so there may be some underlying trust issues going on here. I will pull some cards on that, but know that the universe has your back because it's covered by the Wheel of Fortune. So you're actually supported by the universe. Destiny and fate are intervening in your, uh, in the next five weeks, four to five weeks here, and sort of bringing you a bit of a shock, surprise, turnaround in your love life. So that clash between Venus, the planet of love, and erratic Uranus is actually going to work well for you, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is a turn of events turning a page, a new chapter in love, and better luck in love as well. It can represent a cycle of change that you're going through, and that actually you're looking for relationships that are built on a foundation. Um, also, I feel, yes, there is this push and pull energy about you this month. I mean, it's happening for everyone collectively because we've got that Virgo season going on, plus we've got that full moon in Pisces, which is like a clash between intense focus and getting clear on uh, prioritizing what we want to do, being productive, organized in our lives. And then that dreamy energy from Pisces where we would just want to run away and have fun. So you may feel a little bit pushed and pulled in different directions. And that shows in your chart because we've got the King of Wands there and the Two of, Pente uh, two of Pentacles, which is about finding balance. Now, I would say because you've got the King of Wands showing up here, which is the most intensely passionate card in the deck along with the ace of wands which is right there as well this indicates that you're trying to temper your passions because you may have had a very hot heavy intense relationship with somebody in the past and you may have felt because it was not sustainable that you're trying to stay away from those hot heavy intense relationships because you it's almost like you don't trust them or something like that know that the next person who's coming along it's not the same Okay, this is some of this new person's coming on in. They're a soulmate. They're very passionate. They're very intense. They're going to sweep you off their, your feet. But also, not only is there passion there, there is love. Because I feel like this person is, has gone through a very similar, this new person has gone through a very similar journey. Has taken a very similar walk in life as you have. And they understand um, what it means to be taken advantage of in love. So I feel like this person, this new person, is actually very mature. They know what they want. They're not going to, um, you know, lead you down the garden path or like play mind games and things like that. So I feel like this is a fated, destined relationship that's coming on in here for you. But I feel suddenly there is an energy here of you being motivated to influence your circumstances because the King of Wands is the instigator. Now, this is typically an Aries energy, but it's a fire element. So it's all about Sag fire, you know, Aries fire, Leo fire, that sort of being, you know, passionate, intense, and sort of being independent and saying, you know what, this is me in my authentic self. You know, take me as I am. And I feel like because you're being your wonderful, authentic self, you're actually attracting someone who is equally intense and passionate as you. But actually, there is love and romance and, you know, uh, soulmate energy. So I feel like you're, you're attracting someone of the same frequency. Also, you know, they're, they're giving me a song that it really goes with this, this card, actually. It's like... Now, it's really muffled, so I hope I'm getting the, the lyrics right. It's like... I'm too hot. <laughs> I think it says someone call the police or the fireman. I'm too hot. This is what it keeps going. Say my name. Something like, 
don't believe me just watch it's it's really I, this is the song that's coming out okay i don't know what it's called uh, maybe even called too hot so i feel like you're actually going to attract a lot of attention as you move throughout uh, the month of september into october i feel like you're attracting um and magnetizing someone towards you okay also i feel this energy of joy de vivre living in the moment okay uh, looking at where you're lucky and trying to be really positive even i feel my beautiful Sagittarians, you're looking at where you feel like you do not have certain things like love or romance or you know uh, money or whatever but i feel like you're trying to be positive and you're actually turning your circumstances around due to your positivity, okay? But I feel like right now you're attracting and you're influencing your circumstances because you're instigating. Whenever you get the uh, King of Wands, this is about you influencing your circumstances by taking action. So suddenly you may feel called to do something different or suddenly you feel called to, um, you know, connect to a passion of yours, um, whether it's a hobby or something that you used to do, I feel like you are opening yourself up to more choice. You may have been somebody who was very committed to your work, very ambitious, someone who's been, you know, trying to balance a lot of, you know, things in your life, you know, doing a lot of multitasking and you found that you didn't have time for love. But I actually feel now you're making time for you and making time for love. The Two of Pentacles is about finding the balance between work and play, trying to you know, because I feel some of you, if you've been working really hard, um, trying to be an entrepreneur or setting up your own business, or I feel like you're trying to, because I feel like your passion is your power. And I feel like you're trying to influence your circumstances so that you've got a little bit more time for you. The Two of Pentacles is about, you know, enjoying yourself, being in the flow. But it can also mean right now, you know, you've got to get clear on what you want because it's all well and good us saying, I want love. That's such a broad thing. What is it you want in love? What sort of person do you want? See the sort of person you want. Get really clear with the universe about what it is. The Two of Pentacles is like, you got options. You could have anybody you wanted, really, if you realized how confident and how sexy you really are. But sometimes you don't see that about yourself, my beautiful Sagittarians. So sometimes, you know, you're not aware of the power that you truly have. And this is about you being aware of that magnetic power that you actually have, okay? So I feel like now's the time to, to sort of like feel really good about yourself, build that confidence, and take the initiative to put yourself in a circumstance to meet new love. And there's a lot of ways that you can do that, okay? But I feel uh, finding the balance between work and play is important. Now, the resistance position, we've got rejection. Now, this could be fear of rejection. It may not mean that you've been rejected in the past. It can mean that um, you felt something fizzled out in the past. Um, I mean, we got the lover's card twice, which in this position, it's like you got it in the reverse. So this can mean that there's been, um, you felt like you've not been looking for love or you've not really been focused on love or you separated from somebody and that experience has influenced the way that you operate, okay? It can have made you, uh, made you feel like, well, number one, the energy I'm getting here is that you're extra choosy when it comes to love and that's a good thing, okay? You don't want just any old body. You want the perfect person who's right for you that actually makes you, um, you know, come to life, that gives you that spark. You want that spark. And I feel like you're going to find that in this new person. Uh, but I feel you may have been healing from some sort of rejection or some sort of sadness or some sort of difficult experience in love. Even if it's that you've never been in a loving relationship before, I feel like you're trying to find your way. Focus on what it is that you want. And there may have been somebody that you had feelings for in the past and it was not reciprocated in the same way or it fizzled out really quickly. But this is something that you're healing from and you're moving forward, away from, okay? Because by the end of the month, all the cards that are in reverse, they get turned up into the upright, okay? So th these three cards literally mean choice. So I feel like you're attracting a lot of suitors when it comes to love. You're attracting options here, okay? So we've got the lover's card twice. 
And as you can see in one of the cards, it's about letting go of a cycle that perhaps you were in with a person or a cycle that you felt was not working in your love life. Um, if, for example, you lost the motivation to look for love, you have been really re-examining your priorities about what you want um, or making personal decisions for you. Some of you may have decided to take yourself out of the dating game for a while to focus on personal growth. And that's okay. That's a perfectly um, great decision to make because you're approaching love from a very mature angle, which means you know what you want. Therefore, you're attracting what you desire a lot quicker than, um, than most. But I feel from the protagonist energy, you've not been, how can I put it? Number one, I feel like you've not had the time to focus on love and they really want you to just get a little bit clearer about what you want. Saying things like, I want someone to be honest, kind, loving, funny, that's great. But really visualize love and how you imagine it to be in this moment, okay? You're actually attracting a love relationship, but you're letting go of some difficult baggage from the past. Even if it is that from childhood you witnessed your parents divorce or separate or uh, one cheated on the other, perhaps there's even trauma or... Um, sort of ancestral wounding that you've come to this lifetime to break a cycle from. There's an experience here that I feel you're overcoming that has made you feel like you needed to get a little bit more clear on what you want and what you don't want about love. Um, you're attracting a soulmate, okay? I mean, this is, this is clear. You're attracting a soulmate. There is a loving relationship coming on in. I mean, some of you may have been connecting to your twin flame, but it may have been a very difficult experience. So therefore, you're actually taking a step back from that and you're trying to manifest a soulmate because you feel like your twin flame has um, commitment issues because we've got the seven of cups there, okay? Now, the seven of cups for you, it's like we got it in the reverse, Okay, so I feel with this card, it's like getting clear on what you want, um, you know, releasing yourself from any illusion of what you feel love should be. Because sometimes, especially with like Hollywood movies and the way that we're brought up, you know, we're told stories about what love is meant to be. And sometimes that's not just a realistic way of looking at love. You know, sometimes we got to make compromises. Sometimes we, especially in loving long-term relationships, it's all about compromise. It's all about love. It's all about building solid foundations. Sometimes we got to get clear on what we want and what is realistic, but also we've got to allow ourselves to fantasize and visualize. Okay. This is the card of um, you having options about you focusing on what it is you want, wishing, okay? She's pointing at a star, a wish coming true. In the traditional Rider Waite Tarot, I just want you to be aware of that because they're showing me the Seven of Cups. Can you please guide? Also, I would be mindful because we got Six of Cups here, which is a return energy. So we do have uh, Mercury Retrograde. So you could see someone from your past show up doesn't have to be an ex, but it can be someone that you used to have feelings for um, or, you know, um, that it didn't go anywhere. Uh, sorry, they're just four cups. Thank you so much. Uh, they've asked me to focus. One moment, please. That's so weird. They just said four cups and they've brought me to the four cups, but I want the seven of cups. Okay. Um, I'm only taking the upright in this deck. I want the seven of cups, please. Okay, sorry, they just guided me to the Seven of Cups for you. Um, I'm not sure why they give me the Four of Cups, but that tends to mean you're pretty fed up with the way that love has gone. And that, you show me the Four of Cups, thank you so much. Um, that you're pretty fed up with the way that, um, I keep saying Four of Cups, what's going on? That's so weird. Okay, um, the Four of Cups, they obviously want me to talk about the Four of Cups because every time I go to say the Seven of Cups, they keep coming up with the Four. So uh, the Four of Cups is all about feeling fed up with the way things have been and being closed off to other options, okay? So it can mean that sometimes we get closed off to love because of previous experiences or we imagined love would go a certain way and if it doesn't, we're not open to the way the universe is sending signs to us and signals so i would be open to love at this time because there is a soulmate coming on in and it may show up unexpectedly especially since we've got wheel of fortune here and we've got the four of cups which tends to mean a surprise intervention by the universe 
showing up with love, okay? As you can see, the cup there is bigger than all the other cups before, which means there's a more emotionally rewarding experience with a, another human coming on in here for you, okay? But the Seven of Cups tends to represent choice and options, but it's also about allowing ourselves to fantasize about what we want, okay? There's lots of things in those cups. As you can see, we've got uh, we've got a laurel wreath there for victory. We've got riches. We've got a tower moment. We've got a snake. Now, snakes are all about rejuvenating our energy, rebirth. Um, you know, jewels are about, you know, riches, you know, focusing on perhaps economic um, financial foundations. But I feel like it's about what you focus on, allowing yourself to visualize and recognize that any experience that you visualize has a potential to be manifested in the physical form, okay? So this is about you sort of allowing yourself to use your imagination to call love in, because I feel like it really has not been your focus for a while. You may have been focusing on ambition, on you know things that make you feel passionate. You may have felt very disconnected from your center. Um, for a while and you may have even lost the motivation to search for love or connect to love or even lost that fire within your soul but within I feel right now and as you move throughout September and into October it's like this fire is returning and that song about being too hot or something I mean that is about finding that passion about yourself again, feeling good about yourself, realizing that actually you are a catch, my beautiful Sagittarians. So while that is not an egotistical song, I feel it's really about you connecting to that fire within yourself and starting to feel good about yourself again. Now that song may be relevant because you may hear that song if you know what it is, um, you may hear it after this reading or in the next four to five weeks. It signals change in your love relationship. So it means if you hear on the radio, for example, meeting new love is not far behind. They want it to be a sign for you that things are changing in your world. Now, the outcome energy, we've got fear, okay? So this is about overcoming fears. As you can see, this person is peeking out behind the curtain. There's a lot of life out there to be lived. So it's about you sort of influencing your circumstances and meeting the universe halfway to get clear on what you want and put yourself in a circumstance to meet new love. Now, whether that's putting yourself on online dating or whether it's putting yourself out there to um, receive an invitation to something, uh, that's your call. I actually see... Um, I'm going to pull a card here for it because I feel like you're going to be invited to something, but I feel like you're wondering whether you should go or not. With the Two of Pentacles, I get this energy of, meh, I'm not really sure if I should go, but I feel like you take that risk, you take a leap of faith, and you go anyway, okay? We've got passion. So this is, I mean, you're definitely, there's a lot of passion in your chart for the next four to five weeks. So I feel like there is a chemistry between you and somebody and it starts off hot and heavy. But I would say, make sure you don't become unbalanced if you want this to go somewhere and not just be a fling. Um, building a solid foundation is important, especially since you got the hangman there. It's an indication, you know, not to take it slow, but it's almost like, you know, it doesn't have to be a relationship that's lived at a mile a minute, okay? It doesn't have to go too fast. So it's number 14. Number 14 is the temperance card. So that is about pause. It's about moderation. Take it easy, okay? Even though you and this person are going to be really like, I mean, both of you, it's going to be hot, hot, hot. Let's put it that way. Very intense connection. But it's like, unless you, you, you know, it may be difficult to slow down, but if you go too fast, there's a potential here of it just fizzling out. Get to know each other, okay, um, a little bit more. Um, we've got the full card, so that's about taking a leap of faith. There is a new adventure opening up to you, but it's also a requirement for you to listen to your hunch that the universe has your back, okay? This is also about being curious. You're a very independent soul, my beautiful Sagittarians. That cat represents independence, but it's about curiosity, getting yourself out there, seeing what's out there for you in terms of love. And there are options, okay? But there is one in particular that's going to capture your heart, okay? You may actually have a choice between two people is what is coming up here. Um, so there may be an attraction between you and somebody and you're unsure. I mean, you'll know. 
you'll know when you've met the one, that's for sure. But I feel like there's someone here that you kind of put on pause and you, it's not that you break this person's heart, but I feel like you let this person down gently is what I'm getting from these two cards. Um, and I feel like there's someone new that you really connect to. This is your soulmate, okay? This is you turning a new chapter. So I'm just gonna pull a card. This is a card, I mean, this could be somebody that you've already connected to that you're like holding off on or they made you wait in some way or it's been a very difficult connection to really get with. This could be something that's a long-term or long-distance relationship and it's been really difficult because the Three of Swords is a card of difficulty, okay? And the Hangman is things have been like stagnant or on pause or a little bit in limbo up in the air. This could be someone you've separated from. Um, I feel like you're blossoming despite this circumstance and you're going to meet someone new. Aces tend to mean new energy. The universe coming on in to send you a gift and the gift they're sending is a new chapter with a soulmate. So let me just pull a card on this hangman energy. They want me to go to this deck, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? Two of Wands. This is waiting energy, okay? So this is delayed or, you know, delaying making a decision or you're trying to see where this goes. So this could be your twin flame or it could be someone that you've been connected to already and it's just been on pause. But with the King of Wands, it says you're not waiting anymore. You're moving forward. You're, you're, you know, you've got a lot of passion to give. You're very loyal. You're very loving and faithful and you're looking for a divine connection. So that Two of Wands tells me there's been a pause in something. And the Seven of Wands here is, it's made you a little bit defensive. Okay, so it can also be this fight or flight mode where you've felt you've, if you're not waiting for somebody or you do not feel someone left you hanging in a connection, it can mean that you felt very, very defensive in the waiting stages for love. You may have felt like love is not showing up for you and you may feel that um, it's almost like you've forgotten how to date or you've forgotten how to put yourself out there because it's been a long time and you feel like, oh, I don't know what to do. But actually, the Seven of Wands, I feel, it's like you are going to be fending them off. You're going to attract a lot of people, a lot of attention, and I feel like it's like you're waiting for the right one, okay? You've got a lot of passion to give. I don't see you wanting to connect to a fling. I actually see you wanting to connect to a soulmate, okay? Because we've got so much soulmate energy in your chart and you're attracting that. It's a very hot, intense connection that's coming on in. Yeah, that's what I was drawn to. Um, I was drawn to the Six of Cups here uh, at the bottom of the deck initially. I think it was at the bottom of this deck because the Six of Cups is showing up for you again. Retrograde is going to be very impactful for you, my beautiful Sagittarians. So I feel like someone that you know, um, it could be you're invited to a reunion or it could be that you an ex reaches out. Uh, the Five of Cups is like someone you're trying to move on from, okay? These two cards is like someone you know is maybe going to reach out, um, they want to reunite with you, or you've waited for this person, or it's someone that it got delayed, or the relationship didn't go anywhere, and that Five of Cups indicates you're moving on from that because you feel it was not emotionally rewarding. You've healed from that, you're moving on. So there's de definitely someone new coming on in. Um, now I'm going to take this deck over here um, to represent the new energy that's coming on in for you. I'm only picking the uprights in this deck. I mean, look, we got the six of cups there um, again. So it was at the bottom still. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels, Temperance card. So that's you, my beautiful Sagittarians. You may be meeting another Sagittarian. Um, definitely a fire element. Someone who's got strong fire in their chart. So it could be Aries, Leo, or Sag. Um, but the Temperance card is like moderation pause. Things don't need to go so quick, okay? Patience. Um, things mix and things up. I mean, there's a two cup of love, two cups there. Two, it's like blending, merging, you and a person bonding. And I feel you're going to meet this new person. It's divine intervention. The strength card, okay? So again, another fire element, Leo. And we've got the high priestess, bit of Virgo there. That's three major arcanas, okay? That tells me this is a fated union. This means you've waited a long time for something special, okay? You've learned to love yourself fully. You've had the courage not to return to past situations that were not fulfilling. You have learned to 
know that there are infinite possibilities for you to find your um, soulmate, but first you must find yourself. And then the High Priestess is a card of knowing. You will know the person that you're meant to be with. You will know that this new person coming on in is meant for you. Also, there's an unspoken bond between you and this new person. Aces are divinely guided. They're sent by the universe. So there is an intervention here for you to turn a new chapter when it comes to love and is a very passionate connection. So it's going to be a spark of something really beautiful between you and someone new. It leads to love. You've been waiting for this for a long time. Okay, this is soulmate energy. I'm going to pull another three cards. Thank you so much. We got the nine of swords. So there's that fear. Uh, we've got the eight of wands. So it may be fear. I mean, eight of wands basically is passion going, things going too quickly. So you may feel a little bit nervous that things are going too quickly. So you may put the brakes on. But I feel like that's a very he a healthy thing for you to do. Oof, we got seven of swords. You may feel like running away from this. Seven of swords is, but actually they're just, they're just giving me this finger in the water. They're going like, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, the alternative meaning, I've got to pick it up. They want me to pick it up to feel the energy in full. The alternative meaning of the seven of swords is don't go too quickly because you can miss something. Okay. Um, you know, as you can see, that figure is running away and could take all the swords if they wanted to, but is in haste. So misses something, okay, and leaves two swords behind. It's almost like take things slow and easy. You want to, you know, you want to build a solid foundation. You want to get to know this person. Uh, things can be hot and heavy, but they can still have a solid foundation. It's so interesting that these cards are like all these three cards together. If you were to interpret them, it's like don't go too slowly. Uh, sorry, don't go too fast. Take it easy. Take it slow. Okay. Um, now, I want to pull one more card about this Two of Cups, just to show me a little bit more about this person. So this person is very passionate. I mean, this person, very intelligent, very well read. Um, can you please show me a little bit more about this soulmate that is coming on in for my beautiful Sagittarians? Everything you wish for, Nine of Cups. Everything you desire. This is, you're going to have the good life with this person. This person is a dream come true. The Seven of Cups, as you can see, it's like a wish upon a star. What do you wish for? Nine of Cups says, let me deliver your wish. You're going to be so happy with this person. It's like you're, you're going to realize why nothing worked with anybody else in the past because you were meant to be with this person. This is a divine union. This is someone that you were fated, you were meant to. To be with this person if I had three hands I would show you all these cards together it's like what can I show you okay so let me let me do it this way we've got Wheel of Fortune two of cups and we got the nine of cups here so this is a destined relationship someone who is fated to be with you okay um, you may, may make you feel a little bit nervous at first as I said um, let me just see about that Now, they're showing me a flag in the water right now, a flag. And, you know, um, sometimes there's like a pole with the flag and the, the, what are they, the strings or the wires that are um, holding the flag that you, you sort of pull the flag to raise the flag. They're in the wind. They're smacking against the pole. And I just keep hearing the sound of the pole. It's like a flagpole. I don't know what that's about. So either you can see a flag that is um, at half mast right now, or maybe where you're, when you go on to have a date with this new person, you're going to notice a flag at, at half mast or that's a full. They're, they're making me focus more on the fact that the wires that you pull the flag up and down are loose and they're just hitting against the pole. They're making this like pinging sound in the wind. So I would listen out for that. I don't know what that's about, but that's what they're showing me, okay? Um, how does my beautiful Sagittarian feel initially when they meet this new person? Fear. Nine of Swords is showing up again, okay? You got the card of fear, anxiety there. Can you tell me why? Ace of Pentacles. Because this person, they offer, well, they offer a solid 
true relationship. It's new. So it may make you feel a little bit anxious that you feel like you've been out of the dating game for a while. But this person, they want they want it all. They want to be in a high-level commitment relationship right from the beginning. So they're going to be really honest and open with you. One more. How does my beautiful Sagittarians feel? Five of Swords. So Five of Swords can be the card of fears, uh, you know, taking over or self-sabotaging. So I would watch out for that, okay? Um, I'm going to clarify outcome here. Nine of Pentacles, it can make you feel like um, staying single because the Nine of Pentacles may make you feel like, you know, uh, focusing on your finances. I mean, that is what you're governed by this month, the 10th house and the 4th house, which is all about career, making money, making your mark. So part of you, it's like, I just get this energy of you knowing that you need to change your circumstances in order to find love. And part of you may feel overwhelmed to get out there and meet somebody new. But what you have to realize is that you are a catch, okay? You have a lot to offer. Don't let fear get in the way because there's a new relationship here. It is a beautiful, loving, kind relationship, one that is loyal. And any experiences of rejection or separation that you've had in the past or influences that you've had in the past, they are not going to be the same as this new person that comes on in, okay? This person is right from the very beginning wanting a loving relationship, okay? Um, I'm going to pull a final card before we close. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? We've got White Stag uh, Protector. White Stag Protector, okay? So as I said, sometimes fear can make us protect our wonderful heart. We have a shield in front of our heart, so it may make us feel like, you know, fending people off because we're afraid to get involved and be vulnerable and open ourselves to another person, especially if it's been a long time. So I don't care how old you are, whether you're 105 or whether you're 19, if you're looking for love and your focus is on love, that is what you're attracting at this time and that is what is showing up for you. It is a divine union. It actually will surprise you. This new person will try to sweep you off your feet, okay? Um, it says here, you are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you to where you want to go. Awaken to the powerful force within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic, okay? So most important, awaken to the powerful force within you. You're more powerful than you realize. But also, you're also unique. White stags are so unique. And, you know, also, I get this energy. When people are old souls... They tend to be very, very picky because they've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. So, you know, nothing really impresses you. So you may uh, find that in life in general, you find it hard for people to impress you. And you see through people, you see through their motivations and things like that. So know that this new person that's coming on in, they're a true blue, a true love. Okay. And look at where you may be protecting yourself up off or shutting yourself off from love because there is love coming on in for you, okay? I'm just gonna finally get a trinket before we close. Oh, I want to go again and that one just came out. Oh, isn't it interesting? I went to get one and one popped out as well. There's two keys here. There's a key to the heart and also there's another key which is, um, what is that? It's the key of change. It connects to the death card, new beginnings, okay? So this is about two people exchanging keys to their hearts. I feel like you're about to meet somebody who has the key to your heart and you have the key to theirs and you're going to move forward. Also, there's a little fleur-de-lis on the top of that one, so that indicates a divine union. But it can also represent choice because the lover's card used to be called the choice card and you've got the lover's card twice here so that means perhaps you get to choose which key whether it is someone you already know or whether it's embracing a new adventure with somebody new in love i do feel like you have the choice because they actually wanted me to put them on the lover's card so i'll leave it there but i, I feel like you're going to meet this new person either on some sort of new adventure or a surprise. Mm, let me see. It's like a surprise invitation. 
surprise, yeah, surprise invitation I get um, because they show me an envelope with RSVP in the water, something that comes up suddenly. Now, if you've got Libra in your chart, there may be something in that Libra reading for you as well because um, an invitation came up there as well. So there may be something in that for you. But of course, if you do not have Libra in your chart, then uh, give that reading a wide berth. There'll probably be nothing in there for you. Um, but yeah, I will leave it there. Um, there's definitely new love headed your way. Make sure you're open towards it, but I feel like you have a choice, okay? So um, know that when you're turning heads, my beautiful Sagittarians, people are looking at you. They're attracted to you because I feel sometimes you don't realize that, okay? So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very, very important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Sagittarians. Love and light.